Well, a happy Wednesday to all of you. Um, I'd like to share for a few minutes about something that's been on my mind and my heart um, for a particular group of people. Uh, and that group of people are the, uh, is the professional group of singers, dancers, actors, instrumentalists, comedians. Can you imagine being a, a Broadway musical actor? You finally made it onto Broadway, you are highly skilled, you can do your trade wonderfully. Uh, people will pay good money to come and see you, except for now. Except in this last year, everything closed down. And if you don't have something else to back up that work that you do, you're in a very difficult position. So I want to pray for those people, the singers, the dancers, the actors, the stage people, the instrumentalists, the comedians, the directors. And then I want to um, just add one possibility for something that we can do next year, uh, something that we can do whenever uh, it's the post-pandemic, whenever things open up again. I would like to see and hear performances of the arts. I want to go and see the San Diego Symphony. I want to go and watch Gustavo Dudamel uh, conduct the LA Philharmonic. Um, I can't afford to do this too often, but yeah, sometimes I want to spend too much money seeing a play or seeing Cirque du Soleil. I want to uh, to go and, and hear some concert, uh, both for my own sake, for the joy of being with a bunch of people laughing together, um, crying together, uh, cheering together, uh, but also for the sake of those people that uh, have worked a lifetime in their art. Uh, one of the beautiful things about being a church is that uh, there are many, many opportunities uh, for us to sing together, whether we're talking about singing together as members of the congregation during a hymn, or whether we're talking about uh, singing that is both a performance and a gift to God and a gift to people. Um, we'll be able to do that <clears throat> before we'll be able to go and see uh, major concerts together. So think ahead when we can be in church outside, we have singers that sing to us outside. Inside, we have artists of many, many kinds uh, that, that design the altar, that uh, uh, construct plays, that build up singing things together, especially I love the ones with, with multiple generations so that uh, children and adults sing together, or children and youth, or children and youth and adults sing together. And then, you know, if you can afford it, go ahead and set aside some money for one play or one concert. If you can't afford uh, uh, to take a private jet to New York and go to Broadway, um, see a school play and be a part of the encouragement of those, uh, those kids as they're learning to sing and to dance and to be a part of uh, communication of emotions on stage. Um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to taking care of my sister's cats uh, sometime uh, when she returns to her job of uh, taking people to Egypt uh, for uh, tours that she does called Journey Through Egypt. Um, and this is for dancers to learn the different cultures of different parts of Upper and Lower Egypt, the desert people. I just look forward to that for her sake too. So uh, let's have a moment here and uh, pray, for the, pray for the performers and plan to support them. Lord God, we pray for this odd time for the survival of the arts, for the survival of the performers, the artists, the painters. And we ask, Lord, that you uh, care for their lives and that you allow us to be a part of caring for their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you're an artist, go and make beautiful art. Amen.